Okay, so excuse the basement sounds. And also, yes, I'm recording horizontally now, so it doesn't look super awkward when it transitions. So forget all that though, let's get into today's video. So today, it's not necessarily a special video by any means, but it's gonna be a video that a lot of people I think do need to see. <clears throat> so Chrome is a kind of hard thing to pull off at times with Gunpla. It's really finicky and it usually takes a lot of prep work and expensive materials, i.e. an airbrush. But in the recent years, there has been a lot of mediums that have come out that support Chrome. Now, mirror-like Chrome is a pretty hard thing to pull off. So I'm gonna show you the ways that I pull off Chrome on some of my kits. Most notably, I might add, um, on my latest project, the SD Sinanju, as you can see, the head right there has these little chrome bits. A little hard to see, but all the chrome that you see on here is actually from a marker. So, <clears throat> with that being said, we are going to take a look at some of the ways you can chrome things, okay? I'm also gonna show what an airbrush chrome looks like um, on the back camera. So that's kind of what it is today. And really nothing else has to be said. No more pretenses. Let's just kind of go and do it. Okay, so here we are back on the workbench. So here are the ways that you can chrome <clears throat> without an airbrush. Now, chrome is kind of hard to say exactly what would uh, be exact chrome. So a lot of people would debate that this testers silver is in chrome and i completely understand that um but i'd be willing to argue that this is pretty damn reflective and would make a really nice affordable chrome this was about two dollars at my hobby lobby and everything else here is a hell of a lot more expensive so if you just want to get a nice reflective surface then this could be exactly what you want as you can see it's pretty metal like but we're going to do all this live right here right now um whoops sorry so, you have zero speculation about if this is legit or not. Um, let me just get... Uh, I can do it after. Um, okay, so, you do need a brush for the tester's silver here, but we will do that all the way at the end. We have five Gumplo pieces, all the same exact color, not the exact same shape because I ran out of the same piece. This is from the high-grade... Barbatoris. I believe these are actually leftover pieces. I gave it a very light sand with 1500 and polished it with my shirt just to make sure there's no factory uh, mold release or anything like that. Now we will be talking about, as I said just a few minutes ago, about the airbrush alternatives, but I'm going to save that until much, much later. So let's just hop into it. And I think I'm going to do this out of order than what I normally have it. Um, I'm going to be doing the ones that most people encounter. And that means I have to switch these around a little bit. These are actually the, the way that I encountered it. So here. So first one we're gonna start with is the Hobby Mio metallic color. This is a silver, but like I said, silver and chrome are somewhat synonymous in my eyes. So that's how we're gonna roll with it. This is a felt tipped marker, I believe. And it served me pretty well, but we are just gonna do a little section here right on camera it's got to maneuver myself oh this is an awkward position for me but yeah we're just gonna do this right on camera now some of these are gonna take a few coats like this one is so we will actually come back to this in just a second but that's that's what it's gonna be looking like on the first coat and it will settle some so we'll go over that and I'm not I'm not trying to be super you know um what's it called super clean with it just want to really show you guys what it looks like this is the gundam marker ex i believe this is uh bright chrome or something like that you can see on the tip there very shiny very very shiny let me just get some of that paint out and let's get to it whoa bumped you again all right let me just uh there we go This is a really good go-to. 
Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. We're actually going to go over the panel lines as well to show you what that kind of looks like. It runs through panel lines fantastically. So yeah, that's what we're looking at for the Gundam marker. And of course, we're going to come back to all of these and either do a second coat if we need to or just finish reviewing them. Next is the one that I actually found in a hobby store, my local hobby town, Liquid Chrome Mirror Effect. Got to give it a little shake. And we're just going to... Again, press down pretty lightly because this is a very fine tipped marker and we're just going to do the same thing in this one we're going to just paint the square square right here and the fine tip is personally one of my favorites because you can just get those really nice fine details yeah look at that it settles beautifully so gonna put that down and then we are gonna go to actually a thing I mentioned in my previous uh, weekly whips the hyperchrome SMS now this this gives Molotow a, a serious run for their money so I've used it before I, I love it I interchangeably use Molotow and SMS um, I think this tip is almost exactly the same but yeah, it's super good stuff. So we're also just going to color in the square here. Oh, I'm going to angle it towards you guys. I don't know if you can't see. Might need to get a little more paint coming out. Unless it's drying up, which would suck. It's not laying super nice, so we might need to do a second coat on that, but that's okay. All right, and the last. <clears throat> this is the Testers Enamel Silver. I think it's part of their metallic line. So we'll just get this open there. Look at that. It's pretty nice. Um, do this in a nice uh, ventilated area. Uh, I believe my area is well ventilated. I have no clue, but don't be like me. <laughs> so. Okay, let's get this laid down. Look at that. That is real nice. I like that. Again, super cheap way to do this. And so we'll just lay that down. Um, in the meantime of everything, we will talk about the airbrush alternatives to um, the you know, more simple ways of doing chrome. So I got three spoons here. So I don't have a lot of chrome things, but um, I, I, I have a few. So these two are actually from G-Paint. This is their bright silver and their dark silver. So these are pretty great. I would say the dark silver is not what I would call chrome. It is a nice metallic gunmetally um, sort of color, but definitely not in the chrome category. But I thought I'd include it because it does say specifically silver on it. Um, this bright silver though, not too bad. There's a little splatter from a previous project. Now, if you're trying to pull off chrome and you have an airbrush, this is not what I would recommend, but G-Paint is widely available as of right now. I don't know if that's gonna be like that forever. And it, it's it's pretty like, you can do it on, on almost any primer. This, I believe was white primer and it turned out really, really gorgeous. Um, now this one has a lot of prep, but as you can see, it's, uh, damn near perfect like the the color that is it's just a really perfect chrome so this is the all clad 2 um chrome over the all clad gloss black base i can even reflect you can see the table in the box Ooh. yeah this stuff is amazing it's absolutely fantastic mirror like i wish i had a metal spoon from my my kitchen because it looks exactly the same let me let me get a just a silver piece here it's just really damn close. It's great stuff. I, I highly recommend it. I'm getting some coming in and I'm going to be doing a full on review, but look at that. It's really good stuff. So I would highly recommend All Clads Chrome, but these G Paint alternatives are not too bad. This is a piece that I chromed out with All Clad. As you can see, it's very, very nice. Super reflective. 
it, I mean, it damn near looks like a metal piece. So if you want to get the perfect chrome, all clad is the way to go in my opinion. I'm gonna be trying out more brands, but this is something as a beginner, and I do mean a serious beginner. I've been airbrushing for maybe like two, three months. So this is a fantastic way to get a really, really nice chrome put onto your pieces and kits and just models in general. But let's go back to the simpler alternatives and we'll just go down the line here. So after one coat, this is how Hobby Mio is looking. I'm gonna lay down a second one, um, but to be honest with you, again, if you're just touching stuff up, it's not too bad, not too bad at all. Dispay uh, has a lot of similar paint markers as well. I believe they're felt tips. I believe this is a felt tip, I'm like pretty sure. There we go, yeah. And once that dries, after we're done looking at the rest of them, we can do a final review, but that is currently how the Hobby Mio metallic color model pen is looking. Let's go to the Gundam marker. This is a Gundam marker EX again. And this is how we're sitting. Look at that, it's a little rough, but coming straight out of a marker that has a lot of paint in it, it's really, really hard to go wrong. I mean, that's, look at that shine. It's very, very beautiful. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it, I, I really do. It's about $10 for that. So it's actually one on, on the cheaper side. I believe this is $3. So we'll actually, $3, round $10. Uh, next is the Liquid Chrome by Molotow. Wow, look at that. It's nice, it's smooth too. It's pretty nice, there's a little divot there, just that and that's user error, but this is like my go-to one. This is I think what most people's go-to is are. This one's actually the most expensive one at $14 around my area. And then the Hyperchrome SMS. Again, it just lay down. I think I just needed to shake it some more and stuff, but don't get me wrong, this is a fantastic marker. I mean, the shine speaks for itself. Again, a little rough, and that's it's, it's user error, but you know what, let me actually just shake it and load up some more on there. Let me just load up some more off camera real quick. Hmm, maybe it's drying out, I'm not sure, but Trust me on this one, it, it really is a good product. I, I can't fault it in, in the slightest. And this was about $6. So from cheapest to most expensive, this is how we're sitting currently. And, and now let's look at the silver from Testers. Like I said, it'll take a long time to cure because it's enamel, but beautiful. This is what most of the model builders use to do their metallic details. I have gold and copper which i probably will review but this is a very very nice uh silver slash chrome and this is easily the cheapest <laughs> so at two dollars for that whole bottle and some money for the paintbrush it is by far the cheapest way to get yourself a nice reflective metal like surface so um that's actually the end of the review um i'm serious about this all Clouds Chrome is great, but if you don't want to go the airbrush route, these are your options. Um, again, I highly recommend Molotow. Oh, Molotow, but it's the most expensive. And if you can't find that, Gundam markers are always going to be very widely available. And you can see it for yourself for $10, you do get a very nice chrome service. And if you're just doing details, I highly recommend it. So with that being said, here's uh, here are the results of my testing. And... Uh, I hope you guys have a better day. Um, have fun builders, and I'll catch you next time.